butter rationing during World War II. After the voluntary food conservation of World War I, rationing was mandatory during the Second World War. It began in the weeks after the attack on Pearl Harbor. It was an aspect of the war that touched everyone in everyday life. Butter was one such food that joined the ranks of Russian goods later in the war after much deliberation on the part of rationing officials. The rationing of butter was widely spoken about in the weeks leading up to its rationing. Russian board like co-ops sprung up in an attempt to conserve the commodity already in short supply. So when on Monday, March 29th, 1943, the Office of Price Administration announced the rationing of butter, it came as no surprise to the American people. After a freeze in sales in February, 30% of butter produced in the U.S. had to be turned over to the government to be distributed to the armed forces as well as Britain as part of the Lind Lease Program. The American people were limited to a quarter of a pound of butter a week, which came out to roughly 12 pounds of butter per person per year. There was some protesting against the limitations set for such a popular food. Some thought it, it wrong for food to be rationed at all, while others blamed the government-initiated coal of American dairy herds for the shortage. Despite the disapproval, the rationing of butter still went ahead, ending after the war on November 11th, 1945. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like it down below. If you have social uh, media, don't forget to hop on there and follow me on Instagram at underscore vintagelyyours 3945 as well as on uh, Facebook at vintagelyyours. Don't forget to check out my other uh, videos on rationing during World War II. There's a link down in the description. Thanks so much for watching!